what I've done, I uh, hook up the uh, white color, it's the ground right here, and the green is the positive side. I ran the wire down here, all the way down here for the speaker wire to go to the high-low converter, and then I sand this thing with a sander just like so. You gotta get it to the bare metal right like there. And then use a self tapper screw and screw that in there. Can't show you because I got only one hand. Okay, in order to run a, tw uh, a four gauge wire, you basically literally get underneath of this to the left of the steering wheel to the brake. On top, you'll see. That boot right there, the rubber boot up there on the very top right there. And then you can poke it through right there. And then just catch it on the other end. Now you're coming back up here. You'll see the wire. The red wire will come up where the battery is at. And then you're just getting ready to do uh, your 12 volt right here when it's ready. Put up the fuse. And then... Uh, over here now what you do you're gonna take a 10 millimeter wrench and tighten it for the power after the amp is installed the amp is already installed I'm gonna show you how I done it okay everything is hooked up if you ever need an amp to know where the amplifier is at the amplifier is on the right rear of the uh, trunk it's on this side right here if you pull that off it's right there, you can see it through there, right there. That's an amplifier right there. And uh, come and see the amplifier, how we installed it. Basically, we run that red, uh, the, the power wire from the front down there, through here, come back here. And as you know, I, I ground it right there on the, underneath this amp right here. So basically, I'm gonna have uh, a red to 12 volt, blue, from the kicker, this is case lock 2 with a high low converter right there and to the remote and the black from the case lock to the ground and ground this to the frame and then use an RCA jack run it down here all the way to the input of an amplifier and then the speaker wire to the speaker he's got an MTX also he just, I guess he ordered online and uh, now once everything is complete done you want to come back over here you want to make sure you shut I'm gonna show you okay turn the key on you want to click on uh, settings right here. you want to don't want the volume to be on they, uh, you want to click the setting right there it's config you want to click on sound right here and then now once you see this part right there you want to click it downward you want to make sure speed compensated volume is off. If you have it on one, two, three while you're driving, you're going to hear some loud, very loud noise, annoying noise. So that's how you set up the uh, speed compensated volume. Another word they say SCV. And that is 2016 Ford Fusion. 2016 Ford Fusion amplifier installations. Okay, you probably noticed that uh, the amp after you close the door, the amp will stay on. The amp will stay on approximately about two minutes and thirty seconds. It'll be okay because there's no uh, juice going out or anything like that. It's just a little bit less than two minutes. You should be fine with the battery. It's not gonna kill your battery. So. You'll be fine if the amp is on for two and a half minutes after you close the door.